Performance art and texture art are two distinct forms of art that intersect and overlap. Performance art involves creating a live art experience with elements of theater, dance, music, and visual art. The performance artists use the bodies, voices, and gestures to create unique and ephemeral works of art. The texture art emphasizes the physicality of materials used to create the work, often featuring heavy and pastel, thick layers of paints and other materials. Performance artists may incorporate textured elements and textured artists may incorporate performance elements. One example of the intersection of performance art and textured art is the work of the American artist Yoko Ono. Ono is known for her event great performance art piece, which incorporate textured elements. For example, her piece, term as cut piece, involves the owner sitting on stage with a pair of scissors and inviting audience members to come up and cut pieces of her clothing off. The performance is both a commentary of the objectifications of the female body and a demonstration of the physicality of the materials used to create the work. Another example is the work of the German artist Joseph Boas. Boas was a pioneer of conceptual art and used his body as a medium for his performances often incorporating the textured elements like felt, fat, and honey into his works. One of his most famous pieces, known as How to Explain Pictures to a Dead Hair, that involves boys wrapping his head in felt and cradling a dead hair, creating a textured and symbolic work that is both visually striking and thought-provoking. The overlapping of the art forms pushes the boundaries of what is possible and creates truly original and captivating works. In conclusion, the performance art and textured art are two distinct but related forms of art that often intersect and overlap, offering a rich and diverse landscape of the artist.